As magical as it is to keep close to 40 animals here at Red Ribbon Reptiles, when you have that many living things, you run into some issues. So today, we don't have anything too major to take care of, just a couple of nail trims. We got something that might help Leroy with his kind of overgrown beak. And our cat Matcha does have a little cut on her paw too that we are going to clean up for her today. So come along and join us on our maintenance with some of our animals here today. I'm Raph the Hominid. This is Bartaby the Bearded Dragon. You're watching Red Ribbon Reptiles. So bearded dragons being at least semi-arboreal like to do a lot of climbing. And to do that, you need these uh, sharp claws. But... Bartaby has only a two foot high enclosure that if, even if we take a little bit of these claws off, she'll be able to climb around just fine. So instead of letting these grow and potentially get stuck in something, we're just gonna trim them down just a little bit. And you can see where we've trimmed these in the past. Uh, I'm not going into like that. Uh, oh, 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 stop it. I can't have you moving around too much if we're gonna do this, okay? Bartaby, Bartaby. <laughs> Maybe I have to go behind her. Hang on. <laughs> Why do you never do this before, but now today you want to do it? Maybe if I'm all the way over here. And yeah, I'm just taking where the nail itself is. I'm not getting into that tissue where you can see uh, extends only a little way down the nail. And I've never gotten any blood out of Bartaby doing this, so I'm pretty confident that I don't take too much. I'm not causing her any discomfort. That one's fine. You really just had the one long one, Bartaby. <laughs> Bartaby. <laughs> My nails aren't food either. I don't know why you had that really long one. There's only one of them. Eh, you know what? They're fine. Ooh. Okay, Bartaby, you did it. Okay, and Bartaby was uh, quite the behaved young lady. So we have some curly endive for her. One of her favorites that she hasn't had in a little while. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, and Bartaby certainly came a long way. She used to not eat her greens whatsoever, and it would take uh, a lot of convincing for her. But uh, nowadays, they're not too bad. I think she just thinks that my fingernails are bugs, and she is like, okay, the greens are fine, but where are the bugs? But I think if we leave this in her enclosure with her, uh, she'll eat it. She'll eat it eventually. And now on to our second nail appointment of the day. I have my friend who also has a little stuck shed on his head. I have my friend Mansa Musa, the Saharan Neuromastix. And we got Musa as a wild caught adult and he's always had these funky looking fingernails, but uh, they are starting to curl and stuff like that. And I don't want them to get to the point where they're bothering him. The rest of the nails on him are, are, are pretty good, especially because we have some natural rock in his enclosure. So he kind of can shave them down on his own. And I don't want to stress them out too much. So for now, I'm going to leave all these other ones because they look just fine. But these uh, these curly boys here, I kind of want to see if I can not trim those off at least a little bit on the ends. And you can see I'm much more tentative to just place Musa on the table like his sister Bartaby because Musa will probably go flying. And he didn't get to his uh, daily basking yet. So he is a little bit slower than when he gets up to like 140 degrees and he's just like, a, you know, he's crazy. But like that. So I'm going to try to figure out a way to hold them here and we'll be right back with you guys to uh, make these cuts. Well, that didn't go too badly. I don't know what is up with his fingers, honestly. Um, it looks like the whole, the whole nail and nail bed, quote unquote, kind of turned inwards and is getting in there, but that's why I didn't want to cut at that part on the bottom. I don't know, Musa. We'll keep an eye on you. And we'll see if we got to get you taken care of better, okay? So I do like to use these nail clippers that are uh, branded for cats, I believe. 
I like it because the pressure comes in like rounded, so it's not like you're just kind of squishing the nail off, especially with these tiny little uh, reptile claws. But since this one is so bendy, this nail that I'm trying to cut, I am going to use a regular nail clipper just to at least knock off the, the curve. And then I might use that one to get a little tighter if I feel like I need to cut a little more off. Got most of that one. Yeah, this nail looks a bit big, well, bigger, a bit better than the other one. But yeah, it looks like they literally just turned sideways on his hand. Um, I don't know what caused that. I have no idea how old Musa is, and uh, he was living in the wild for a fair amount of time at least. So really, anything could have happened. But just so that doesn't snag on anything, I'm gonna take a little bit more off of it. We'll go with that for now. We'll see, we'll see if you need uh, see if you need adjustments later, All right, pal? And yeah, this guy has come such a long way, but I don't quite trust him to just uh, roam about on his own. It is true though that I no longer need to completely restrain him, as he's not in full panic mode. He's just a little bit nervous right now. But I'll take a little nervous over panicked any day of the week, right, Musa? You want to panic your way back home? Come on, come on. Oh. No, you can't go yet. I almost forgot to give him his reward for being such a good boy. And Musa being a Euromastix in the wild, they're going to eat a lot of grasses and things like that. So really things like tortoise food or hay are better food options for Euromastix. But he has been being a good boy, just eating his hay, not getting a whole bunch of different greens and stuff like that. So I imagine that he would uh, enjoy some curly endive as well. What do you think? You only want to do it in your house. Okay, well, we'll see if you want to eat it at home. And now we have Mr. Leroy Jenkins, our Greek tortoise. And you can kind of see right here, uh, his beak is starting to extend down a little low past uh, his lower beak. So it's nothing uh, It's nothing that I'm concerned about right now, but something we'd like to take care of now before we have to take more uh, extreme measures to like really shave that beak down. But to condition it himself, I got him some cuddle bone. These are mango and banana flavored cuddle bone. Leroy loves his fruit, so I'm guessing that uh, I don't know, he might like it. And these are marketed for birds, of course, to wear their own beak down. It's essentially just calcium, which is good for him anyway. Now, I'm not super confident that as a bird would, he'll walk over to it and just start kind of chewing on it. But Leroy, also being a grazing tortoise, like I was talking about with Musa, has been eating a whole bunch more hay. So today we do have a treat for him, the curly endive as well. I'm thinking moving forward, we're going to use these cuddle bones as a plate for him so that uh, he kind of accidentally shaves that beak down and I'll kind of nestle it. He's got some bricks in his enclosure too and I'll kind of nestle it into place so that these cuddle bones don't move around too much. Hopefully he just eats off of them and doesn't poop on them be because Leroy likes to just poop everywhere, which I mean, it's okay. It's not his fault. chunk of bone there buddy yeah and even um even if it doesn't have much of an effect using it as a plate i definitely have no problem feeding him and kind of giving him some extra extra care here to make sure that that thing gets a uh, nice and shaped down oh yeah he's poking holes in this bad boy okay i'm gonna put leroy back in the comfort of his own home with his treat and his uh tools here for carving his beak down then we'll head upstairs and take care of Miss Matcha Meow Meow. And this is Mochi and Matcha. Okay, Matcha, you can go uh, cool down for a second. 
But uh, we are proud cat parents here at Red Ribbon Reptiles as well. Even though we love our reptiles, we love our little mammals so much too. And Mochi has a dental appointment to get rid of this goofy tooth she has in her mouth, which is sad because it's going to be the longest Mochi and Matcha have ever been separated. But Mochi's fine right for right now anyway. But uh, let's tell a little story about Miss Matcha right here, okay? So dad and mom like to eat steak. So dad made some steak and left the thyme shaker, like a little salt shaker, out on the counter. And Matcha is just starting to go through her phase where she likes to knock things off of things, as cats do. Matcha knocked the thyme off. It erupted in uh, glass shards and whatnot. And she must have uh, jumped right onto one or something like that. Now, we woke up in the morning and there was blood tracked all over the house, but it was just a drop out of the time and the wound looks pretty superficial. If she had a big gash or something like that, we would have rushed her right to the vet. But just a little cut and it stops bleeding. We just want to make sure since it's on the bottom of her paw that we keep it clean because she has got to walk around on it all day and scrape cat litter with it and all kinds of disgusting stuff. Okay, Monster, we're going to clean your hand again. And we did try bandaging it up. Uh, yesterday was the first day that we noticed this. And we had a bandage on there for about, maybe about 40 minutes at best. And she found a way to yank it off. And it was obviously really stressful for her. She was acting like she couldn't use her, her, right, her right front paw anymore. So we're not going to bandage it. Since it's already pretty much healing, we're just going to keep it clean. Okay, so first things first, if I can wrangle this thing. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. And yeah, you can see it's just a little scratch on one of her uh, toe beans there. But I'm going to start with cleaning it with some iodine to make sure uh, we kill any kind of bacteria. Okay, I know, sweetie. I know, it's okay. Yeah. We're just going to kill any bacteria in the house. Okay, okay, we're done with that part. We're done with that part. We're done with that part. And now... I'm going to wipe that off with a little bit of water to make sure she doesn't uh, start eating any iodine or anything like that. Okay, okay, almost there, almost there. And we're using Silver Honey, which is basically like a pet wound care type deal. Think of Neosporin, but for your pets. Hi, Mochi. Mochi, make sure her sister's okay. Would you look at that? Okay. Okay, hold it. We're almost there. And then you guys get breakfast after this one. Okay, Pong Pong, we're not going to put... Hey, we're not going to put a bandage on again, okay? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Now, just trying to kind of pack it in there to act almost as like a liquid bandage. But then also uh, to make sure enough kind of gets in there. Okay, Macho, what do you think? You all done now? Me say yes, Dad, I'm done. Oh, yeah, that's how you know it's breakfast time for the kitties. Got some tiki cat wet food. This is like literally just shredded chicken and organ meat. Threw some extra beef broth in there as well, along with some powder for their, their plaque and freshens their breath. And this is just, uh, what is this, kelp? Peppermint and something else, I think. Kelp peppermint. Stuff like that. Very good. Very good. And when you mix it in, they don't notice that it's in there, so they'll still eat it. Matcha, go away. Go away, ma ma mama. <laughs> and then some freeze-dried chicken chunks as well. Right, Mochi? Right, right sweetie. <laughs> you excited? And they also regularly get salmon oil as well, but uh, not this morning. They'll get it this evening. And a probiotic as well. You ready? You ready for food? You gotta get off the mat. <laughs> Just push him, put him in the middle and push them both out of the way. You guys are so excited this morning. Okay, everybody was a really good sport about their uh, little bit of maintenance today. And everyone got their uh, treats at the end of it too, right Moti? You got your poo-poo? 
If you got anything out of today's video, let us know in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. It means a whole lot. But I am Raph the Hominid. This is Mochi the Domestic Super Predator. And you've been watching Red Ribbon Raph Tiles. We'll see you next time.